Good morning everyone, it's Karen with Thrifted Living and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. So today I'm in the kitchen and if you've been following along for a while, you know that Sean and I recently purchased a new home and we actually just recently painted this space. It was red but now it's this really pretty um, gray color. It's called Requisite Gray and we absolutely love it. I actually just painted the craft room the same color. So today we're going to work on organizing the cabinets. When we moved in we had so many people helping us which was so great but we didn't really know where anything was gonna go and people were like where do you want this where do you want this and we just didn't know what to tell them so we're just like pretty much put it wherever you can find a spot so all of the cabinets are so disorganized right now we've just been tossing things in there and it's really just not um any type of organization so today i thought we could tackle at least two of the cabinets maybe not all of them um but the ones that are like really really messy so let me turn the camera around and show you what we are working with all right so sorry that you can't really see me i have the camera facing up at these cabinets but these are the two cabinets that we're going to work on today so here's the first one so right now it's sort of like a mixture of like baking stuff some like little um bread bakers some ramekin type things i don't really know exactly <laughs> what's going on in here so that's the first cabinet and then, I don't know if you guys will be able to see this. Yeah, you can. This is the second one. I feel like this is a lot worse. Things just got tossed in here, honestly. Like, there was really no rhyme or reason for how this got organized. I honestly think that we can really condense a lot of this. Um, and some of this stuff, like this bowl here, these, are, these bowls are things we use for entertaining. So I'm sort of thinking about trying to put those on the top just so that it's out of the way when we don't really need it. Um, and then try to use these cabinets for things we use every day. So, yes. Let's get to work on these messy, messy cabinets. From watching a bunch of different cleaning and organizing videos, I know that you're supposed to take everything out of the cabinet before you um, really decide where things are gonna go. So I'm going to go through and empty both of these cabinets first and then probably try to figure out some things that need to be donated or sold at a garage sale. I should have been setting a timer for this because cleaning out both of these cabinets took less than five minutes so yay that's awesome uh, let me show you now the, everything that I took out of the cabinets so I did find some of these random little muffin things I think I brought them in for my kids oh my gosh this says November 16th I think I brought these in for my kids and I had extra and I just brought them home and they just sort of were tossed up in that cupboard I don't know why so then we have some different serving ware all of this I would say is for you know parties and get-togethers or you know just at dinner like for rolls or something we have this bagel cutter and over here some different glassware salad spinner some more serving ware as you can see just a bunch of different random things so I'm trying to figure out the best way to make this work so I think the first thing we're going to do is put everything for parties and get-togethers maybe on that top shelf I'm just trying to decide I don't want to use up too much of these cabinets if I don't have to so maybe some of this stuff could go upstairs I don't I don't know because I, I do want to keep it out as well um so yeah I'm thinking like pretty much trying to prioritize things on the top that aren't used very often and then things that are used more frequently go down toward the bottom so let's try to do that now I think hopefully this won't take too long and yes I know I have a lot of bananas I eat like two bananas a day <laughs> these ones I don't know what happened I think it's because I was out of school and I just didn't really use as much as I normally did so those ones are gonna go in the freezer these ones some of them might be able to and that's not all full of bananas there's also some sweet potatoes and stuff in there so all right let's get to work
but I pretty much put everything away. And as you can see, there's like so much extra space in that cabinet. There is some extra space here, but not as much. So I think I'm going to look around in the rest of my cabinets and see what kind of things I can group together. Like those are all of our um, glassware that has like lids that go with it. I don't know where the lids are right now. Um, so I'm going to try to find those things and sort of group everything together. Um, but yeah. It already made so much more room. Since I got most of those cabinets done, I'm going around and trying to find other things to organize um, or other things that can go up there. Look at this disaster of a cabinet that we keep our pots and pans in. This is, this is ridiculous in here. So I'm going to start looking through this stuff and see what I can move up there. Like I, it's impossible to even use this because it is so jam-packed full, full of things right now. That's crazy. It's totally unusable right now. Uh, well, hopefully we'll be able to figure something out. you can see it is really nicely organized now it took like maybe five minutes I don't know if this is the you know the main use of this thing right here but I put some lids in here and I sort of stood them up it is a little noisy I mean because it's like sort of bumping over the the side of the shelf but I don't know I think this works and it's a good way to keep all of those lids organized and then down here I have pots um, you know small and large pots and like pasta pots with like that one has a strainer in it and then up here I'm going to put skillets hi everyone I just got home from school you can see my lunch bag sitting right back there so what I want to do right now is share with you these cabinets and just sort of how they look now you might not be able to tell a huge difference just because um, I didn't really declutter a ton of stuff, but I was able to make room um, by sort of compacting things and just organizing things, you know, similar items together. And even though I really didn't, I actually don't think I put anything in donation, maybe one or two things, I was able to make more space in the cabinets. And so let me just share with you what they look like now. I think I'm proud of the progress. Um, you know, we're still trying to figure out where everything should go and just the best space for things. But let me just turn the camera around and share with you what these look like now. As I said, I didn't donate anything. I don't believe maybe one or two pieces, but what I was able to do is sort of just bring things together that belong together and, um, you know, sort of make a system in my head that works. So pretty much how this is organized is on the bottom, you will find things that I will reach for often. The second, layer of the cabinet is more things that I would reach for just every once in a while and then on the top it's things that I would probably seldomly use I will use them just you know not as frequently then next to these cabinets I have this cabinet over here this cabinet's a little challenging just because it's right in the corner it's a little more difficult to get to but as you can see this one has even less in it on the top again I have some things for get-togethers and parties and stuff that we don't use very frequently on the bottom I have some glass bowls and over to the side I'm going to be putting the lids that go with them. I think I might put a little Dollar Tree plastic bin over there to keep all of the lids organized. So yeah, this one is, I feel like I really noticed the difference in this one. It just doesn't seem as full and as cluttered. I feel like it can breathe. So I'm happy with how this turned out as well. Then because I was able to get things done a little more quickly, I actually tackled this cabinet as well. 
And I'm really happy with how this turned out. So as you can see, over here and over here, the, the people who owned the home before us actually put these command hooks up. So I just decided to put our little, um, you know, measuring cups there. But then right below, I have all of our pots and pans organized. And on the side, I have all of the lids organized. I'm really happy with how this turned out. This was sort of just like a bonus space that I was able to organize, but I'm really, really thankful that I was able to organize this space because I was just tossing things in there and things were falling all over the place and there's just so much more space now that I have it actually organized and neat and clean. And that's it for this part of the kitchen organization series. Thank you so much for coming along with me while I tackled some of these cabinets. It feels so good to get some of these spaces organized and sort of take an inventory of what we have. I feel like when we moved in, it was just such a you know, a rush to get everything unpacked and just, I wasn't really sure where anything was. And so I feel like we're starting to actually get settled in here and it's a pretty good feeling. Thank you so much for watching. If you like videos like this where I'm sort of tackling the new areas in our home, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. We are super close to 90,000 subscribers and I would love for you to join me here at Thrifted Living. I love to share videos just like this where I'm tackling new parts of our home and, you know, getting everything organized and cleaned out and decluttered but I also love to share videos about thrifting and DIY and crafting and education, all different topics. So if any of those topics sound interesting to you, please make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss my next video. Don't forget to check out my blog at thriftedlivingblog.com. Please follow me on Instagram at thriftedliving. And if you don't have an Instagram but would like to stay up to date with what I'm doing, you can follow me on Facebook at thriftedlivingpage. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!